the Israeli Ministry of Defense made a significant announcement regarding the bolstering of its military capabilities. Israel is set to receive a new shipment of Joint Light Tactical Vehicles, JLTV, from Oshkosh Defense, a renowned manufacturer of military vehicles based in the United States. This development comes in the wake of a high-level visit to the United States by Major General Rez Eyal Zamir, Director General of the Israeli Ministry of Defense, underscoring the deepening cooperation between the two nations in defense matters. During his visit, Major General Zamir, accompanied by Brigadier General Ret. Michel Ben Baruch had the opportunity to inspect a logistics center where various military acquisitions were showcased, including the much anticipated JLTVs. The imminent delivery of these vehicles is part of a broader arrangement, as outlined in a previous report by Army Recognition on November 16, 2023. This report highlighted the increased military support extended by the United States to Israel following the outbreak of conflict with Hamas militants on October 7, 2023. The military aid package includes a diverse range of equipment such as laser-guided missiles, artillery shells, night vision devices, and bunker buster munitions. Among these acquisitions, the request for 75 JLTVs stands out as a significant component, reflecting the commitment to enhancing Israel's defense capabilities in the face of evolving security challenges. The introduction of JLTVs into the Israeli Defense Forces IDF, vehicle fleet marks a substantial upgrade, potentially replacing over 2,000 Humvees currently in service. This move aligns with a global trend among military forces to modernize and enhance mobility through the procurement of advanced vehicles like the JLTV. Manufactured by Oshkosh Defense, the JLTV has garnered attention worldwide, with several branches of the U.S. military already incorporating it into their fleets. Moreover, nations including Belgium, Brazil, Lithuania, and Romania have also placed orders for this versatile vehicle. As of June 2, 2023, production of the JLTV had reached an impressive 20,000 units, attesting to its popularity and effectiveness on the battlefield. A noteworthy aspect of the Israeli transaction is the potential involvement of Plaza North America, PNA, in manufacturing armored cabins for the JLTVs, PNA, a subsidiary of the Israeli firm Plaza, was announced as a subcontractor for the JLTV program on July 17, 2023. Plazan's expertise in producing protected vehicle cabins, demonstrated through its kit hull concept, has been instrumental in enhancing survivability and mission capability in various military operations. The Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, JLTV, program was initiated to address the need for a vehicle offering superior survivability and mission capability compared to the HMMWV, Humvee, a stalwart of the U.S. military since 1984 and extensively utilized by the IDF. Featuring a V-shaped hull to deflect blasts, advanced armor protection, and an adaptable suspension system, the JLTV represents a significant advancement in military vehicle technology. Furthermore, the JLTV program has led to the development of multiple variants tailored to support diverse military roles, including reconnaissance, command and control, and medical evacuation. Its configurable armor and armament options, ranging from light to medium caliber weapons, provide flexibility to meet specific operational requirements. Powered by a Gale Banks Engineering 866T, 6.6-liter diesel engine coupled with an Allison 2500 SP 6-speed automatic transmission, the JLTV boasts impressive performance capabilities. Equipped with the Oshkosh TAK 4i independent suspension system, it offers an operational range of up to 480 km and a maximum speed of 110 km per hour, ensuring mobility across various terrains. In addition to its conventional variants, the JLTV platform has served as the basis for innovative models such as the EJLTV, a hybrid electric version, and two unmanned vehicles developed for the U.S. Marine Corps, namely the Long Range Fires Launcher, LRFL, and the MESIS, designed to serve as ground-based Tomahawk launchers. In conclusion, Israel's acquisition of JLTVs underscores the nation's commitment to strengthening its defense capabilities through cutting-edge technology and strategic partnerships. With the delivery of these advanced vehicles, the IDF is poised to enhance its operational effectiveness and readiness in safeguarding national security interests.